This Adam here with Distraction Gaming. And what I wanted to show in this video is, uh, so this is me, it's a replay. Uh, let's get it going a little bit faster. What I wanted to show is the power of slow. And where is, uh, I wanted to be under the blizzard, because I want to see. So the top four of these top guys are us. Yeah, blue is us, red team is the bad guys. And uh, you can see it's not, everyone isn't complete noob. Uh, I don't think there are totally new games, but it, real quick, I wanted to show the power of slow and why slow is not used enough by human. So just some basic things I, I scouted and uh, saw that purple was right here, human. I decided against uh, quick expoing. And uh, everybody's just kind of getting their expos. My my goal was just to try to creep. And uh, that is what I'm doing. My allies are creeping as well. This guy is... Yellow is on... He's trying to harass with the Blade Master, but I find... Even... Uh, he, he didn't do bad. I mean, he stole an item. And he stole a creep. So it's not like he's awful. Um, we've got this guy just very um, basic strategy. And you're going to see how the Night Elves screw this up for the, our opponents. Our opponents and you're going to see how their, their strategy is another kind of unit that I think shouldn't be used in 4 vs 4. Just kind of creeping. I'm not doing too much. I, at this point, I'm not entirely sure. I'm just heading over this way because I notice that my allies have to deal with this this har blade harassment a lot, and uh, I wanted to get over here and just assist, just to be throw more bodies at it and um, help Pink out so he doesn't feel so harassed. You'll notice I am putting, I accidentally had a peasant in blue's base, so I'm putting up a tower. I'm towering a bit more heavily in this game because not, I mean, I'm not being harassed at all. I don't want to be harassed, but it's a large map. I think on large maps where you can't just run to each other's bases quickly, you need stuff like this up to dissuade. You need to have a base that they're not going to be too happy about trying to hit. Although I do have this pretty little gap in here where they can hit. But see how this guy, he if I didn't have towers, he would come in and just wreak havoc. havoc. But he's bypassing. So they're doing a, they're doing pretty good trying to harass. I've got some towers going up in my allies' base. More humans should do that kind of thing. There's a arcane up here from the other human in our base. So that's actually that's that's good teammate work right there. Um, I, we are going to have some trouble with this. At this point, where am I? Okay, I'm, I'm just hitting the burrows. I decided to hit because I didn't... Um, I knew I was very far from this. I can't help, so I thought I'd just try to distract them and do something. Try to take down a burrow. I see that I'm kind of outmatched here. I don't have defend for my footies, so I'm going to TP out. I'm going to TP to this expo just to help assist this guy has to tp out so it's kind of a fair trade he goes all the way then he's still kind of losing stuff um and you know mk foots it's it should be an okay build but it's not it's not as good i don't know i i you'll see how he's he kind of screws it up for them as well Probably this guy might have been their best, but he really should have. Uh, he was. He's going wyverns and like a blade master route. So this is the unit that is a bad choice. On on the surface, it seems like wow, this is great for harassing and killing, and you can pick heroes off with the keeper uh, and pick units off easily. But we're going to see that that's not always the best thing. And I believe uh, wherever he is, Teal, Teal is going to be doing this kind of the same thing. So these guys are together. There's a fight going on. This guy, he can't do anything about my base. 
Um, he's gonna go creep, but he can't. He can't hit my base at all. And I'm just kind of now. I'm making my sorceresses. My sorceresses are gonna become quite handy because this guy in balance, he doesn't make counter casters. There's no anti-caster. So I pick off a few units. I try to steal the creep. And he really, he was kind of getting greedy, but then he sees he has to leave, and then I'll, I'll be able to pick up the scraps there. Meanwhile, my team, you know, they're able to get some creeping done. At this point, I'm thinking, we need to get together. Okay, now I'm seeing that Teal, what is Teal even making? He's very behind on any units. 31 population, Ancients of Lore... Uh, we could probably just hit now, but their air, Red's air looks a little scary. He's doing his thing. He's trying to pick off a hero. I think he's going to get it. He gets the hero, but Pink is not a noob. Pink knows that this isn't the end of the game. We can still potentially win. I'm in the, this guy's in the vicinity. So this guy TP's out. He's back. He's out. Blue is up here. He just has grunts. He doesn't have any anti-air. At this point, I'm I'm noticing this expo is not it's not creeped. I'm noticing that I am I'm just kind of the the man out in the open, and this happens a lot in four vs four. Where suddenly, you you know things look bad for your team. They've got a lot of air. They could easily push. Blue has tier one units, and uh, this guy he's tier three, but there's towers in his main. Green is helpfully towering what he can. And I'm over here and I'm trying to think, what can I do? I have sorceresses and footies. And I noticed the towers in this guy's main. I'm thinking, eh, I can't really, I don't really want to try to attack that. So then I think, let me go to his expo. And I notice towers here. And I'm thinking, I, I can't, I don't want to, I don't think I have defend yet at this point. Am I learning it? I'm not sure if I have defend. Uh, I'm noticing there's a lot of activity over here, though. I'm seeing the activity. My teammates don't look very strong. So I go ahead and just kind of hit. I noticed these units, and I thought, maybe he's nearby. And this also made me think, oh, man, do I need to make mortars? I've got, he's got, like, dryads, and I have sorceresses. But he TPs. One of them TPs while they hit, and then I TP to green because I noticed them here. So I TP, and then these these guys have to leave out. So I was the odd man out. I was the guy who was very far away from all the action. These guys could have pushed heavily on some base, uh, and they might have been able to do more. But instead, they're all split up. Teal misjudged and thought that I might I might be able to take his main or something out, or I was going to do a ton of damage, even though I had very fairly pathetic units so i say yeah let's go we're all together now because i figured i tp'd over here we're all on the same side of the map it's a big map and uh it's not something that it's it's hard to coordinate on a map like this i felt like my actions were a little bit helpful we have kind of a our army is not like very scary looking um our, compared to our opponents who have you know this is a lot of air. It should be scarier than it is, but these units are not as helpful as one thinks. And Wyverns, it looks like it should be scary, but it's really not that big of a deal. And then you have this guy. He's, he doesn't have a lot of units. Purple has, like, nothing. Like, what is... Purple is taking ages. Look at his gold. He's taking ages to get some kind of effective army. He's trying too many things at once. All he needed were breakers. That's all he needed. So he TPs in. I finally have defend. We're just kind of sitting here waiting for a fight to happen. We're getting hit from the back. We're getting hit from the bottom. And uh, I'll slow it down a little bit so that we can examine. Looks like... Um, okay, so the Death Knight's dead again. Pink loses his Death Knight. And, but he's a good player. He doesn't give up. He stays in the fight. Even though like yellow now is also kind of weak. I put all of my defended footies to just mess around with purple, and they're going to last in this fight, just messing around with purple here. And so, these units should be doing a lot more damage, but suddenly all of our line is kind of pushing. This can't do a lot of damage in the back. He's trying to pick stuff up. 
He's gonna have to deal with one meaty torrent. And the slow is really affecting them. They're not doing very much DPS with that slow. And then this entire time, my foot, this guy's busy with my footies. He can hardly kill them. <laughs> At this point, I knew, like, okay, we are winning this fight. I didn't know if we were winning the fight. We're winning the fight. This guy can't pick off my unit. Green is good. He healed me. Um, keeping my MK alive. That was actually pretty pretty good. This just makes Teal even more experiencing the pain. Yellow's hero's not doing anything. They're getting further and further back. Burrow's not really being effective enough, not targeting weak units. So the tide has really kind of turned. We're, we're actually doing quite good. And our army is not that impressive, but the slow, the slow, they had nothing to do. They couldn't do anything about the slow. And Teal is coming in with these ridiculous units, way late. Now I feel like we're kind of, okay, we killed the heroes in the back of the base. I feel like we're a little bit overextended. I'm moving out. I stayed behind because I noticed Teal. And, uh, and I saw that Blue was kind of getting in a little bit of a dangerous spot here. I, I was curious what happened here. Okay, he just runs far enough away. All right, and then we just kind of redirect and everybody goes here. Then I decide, like, oh, shoot, you know, we should really kill the main. So we are going to kill the main. Oh, okay, he does, he does get to pick off that unit from the slow. This guy, he's still, I mean, he's, he has anti-air, but we have no air. <laughs> we have no air, except for uh, what green is making, which is superior. So, you know... Yellow is basically finished off now. I'm thinking like, after we finish this, let's go ahead and just kill his, his expo. I had a maiden expo during this whole fight, and then Yellow decides he's gonna do something, he's just gonna attack my expo, and I decide, that's okay. I'm just gonna pull back my peasants. I, I have a bunch of units in my main and I'm building the paladin, but I can't, I'm not having them cross this dangerous map. They would all die crossing the map. So I just have them sitting here, not really knowing what to do with them. But now we're getting ready for another fight. Green is doing his thing. He's just trying to pick up some units. We've got a griffin. We've got all these... Blue is finally coming through with his torrents. And I, I really believe that's because he, he had an, an expo up. So he had a lot more resources than me. I was on a, basically on a single base. So we got a big fight going, and again, I'm, I'm basically just looking for the power of slow here. This is, this is a late game battle, and everything is, most of his stuff is slow. I still hear slow being casted all over the place. And, uh, just doing quite well. In our front line, like, everything built up enough. They weren't going to win this fight. And, uh, paint good slow human. I have, like, hardly any units. I mean, really, I did not have very many sorceresses by that last fight, but the slow really turned the tide of the battle by quite a bit. Uh, that's the end of the game. I think, okay, I have one sorceress left, and I don't really have unit. Like, I, I, I didn't do very good with uh, my items or anything, but our opponents made fairly bad units my allies were decent but they nobody had like a s truly scary army uh, attack upgrades from my allies and then we had way too many torrens mountain giants weren't gonna so these guys had the wrong unit count purple for some reason never had an impressive army like he just took way too long to make anything but uh Play with... Humans need to make sorceresses more often. By level 5, I got the level 3 Brilliance Aura because I felt like that was the best aura to give my entire team. 
And by having the Archmage, I didn't necessarily, I didn't really need the Water Elementals. Blizzard may have been nice, but I didn't have a chance to reskill it. Um, the, I just had the Mountain King there just as like a target to help my other teammates so that there's just more heroes uh, in play and then maybe I can occasionally stun something uh, at a critical moment. If I could keep him alive, thankfully Green did keep him alive for me. But slow made a difference. Now, I had I had a pretty poor DPS army, wouldn't you say? And somehow I had 46 kills in that game. With what? I think most of those were creeps. But uh, still, I mean, I was right up there with my with my allies. Blue with the Tauren ended up having the most kills. And he also creeped a lot. Um, Pink had a decent amount of kills, but my uh, our opponents had similar kills to us. Except for Purple, who was just imbalanced in a downward way himself. He was actually not not very complimentary as a human to his team as I was to my team. I, I ended up going triple hero, but the paladin didn't have anything to do. It was basically just in case they did happen to turn the tide, I was going to TP back, and I had a whole bunch of units just sitting on my base doing nothing. I wasn't sure what to do with them on a large map. I didn't want to... I'm not skilled enough to just do a separate army to harass a heavily towered expo with that complement. And I was making breakers as well in case they had casters, uh, just to steal things back from anything being stolen. But I got my one piddly little hero kill, and my gold is still higher than a couple of them, even though my expo was quite late. But the power of slow, I think slow is actually not used enough, because most of your opponents are not going to have... They're not going to have uh, Dispel. I, I hardly ever see anyone make, unless they're specifically trying to make Dispel, nobody has Dispel, typically. Uh, or it gets to the point where battles are so massive that Dispel, nobody has the ability to use Dispel effectively. So something like Slow really makes a huge difference. Debuffs are incredible in 4 vs 4. Every race should try to make units that provide debuffs. And slow is probably one of the best debuffs of the game. So anyway, that's uh, just showing a little bit of the power of slow from a replay from a game I played earlier. Um, usually, if other strategies are not working for me, my default go-to strategy with human is to make casters, chiefly sorceresses, for the slow. And then some priests uh, and breakers. All of those units are excellent support units. Um, and then you can kind of make up DPS if you rescale to Blizzard and uh, MK or a Panda second can help make up for lost damage. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.